Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy King Leo and it is March 8th. Uh, this is my first video in a couple weeks. I'm sorry I haven't posted anything up because I have been really sick. I, You know what? Um, I caught something because I went to the Second City show, Go Ahead and Make My Monday, on February 23rd. And I just had a crazy week that week. It was a crazy weekend. I didn't slow down, which was probably a bad idea. And I got really sick. I'm just starting to get over it now. Um, I'm about 90, I'd say 85, 90%. But, uh, you know, I'm getting better. So, let's just hope it stays that way. Anyway, this video is going to be about my thoughts on the 2009 Canadian International Auto Show. I went February 21st. That was the day before it closed. It took place from the 13th to the 22nd of February of this year at the uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center and the Rogers Center aka the Sky Dome. I still call it the Sky Dome because that's what I grew up knowing it as and that's what it'll always be to me so if you guys have any beef you have beef but that ain't my problem. Um, anyway the 2009 Canadian International Auto Show. I went with a couple buddies from high school. Uh, Richie and Chris. So, what's up guys? Uh, you know, we had a great time. And, uh, you know, it, it was just really good to get back there. Because I hadn't been in a couple years. I did go every year from 2004 through 2007. But... Um, I took a couple years off because I got really busy with college and everything else. But, you know, I managed to go this year. And it was good to get back because, you know, what, I it was I didn't realize how much I'd missed over the couple years that I didn't go. But, uh, you know, we had a great time. And, you know, this is what it's about, basically. Uh, we started in the south building of the Metro Toronto Convention Center where we, you know, it was average cars and like average people cars like sedans, the four doors, the, you know, the, the family type cars like the minivans and, you know, some custom or some uh, concept cars and um, there was actually this one back to the future type car, you know, I'm heading back to 1985 with Back to the Future of Michael J. Fox, but it was just this white Back to the Future. It was a cross between the Back to the Future DeLorean and the Batmobile from like Batman Begins in the Dark Knight. It was just, it, it was crazy. It was massive, but uh, I'll put the uh, link to my Facebook profile. Uh, in the description so you guys can add me and look at the photos and check them out leave comments and messages stuff like that and I'll leave my email address so you guys can uh, email me with your questions and comments you know but uh, you know it was just a great time we went from the sedans like Subaru and Toyota and Chevy to like the more exotic cars like the convertibles and, um, you know, there are, the, some convertibles are just really, really tiny. I don't even know, because uh, I, I took a couple shots with uh, my two buddies, Richie and Chris, in one convertible. It was just really tiny. I don't know how they fit in there. But, uh, you know, we managed to get some good shots. And, um, you know, we worked our way up from sedans to the convertibles to the SUVs and I got a nice shot of an Acura SUV which I got from about halfway across the building but I did have to zoom in on it about two and a half times on a five megapixel digital camera but it's still a really good shot um, we went from the SUVs like the Hummers and the Acuras and you know the Cadillacs from there to the um, the more the more pricey uh, sedans again like the Buicks 
and uh, the Rolls Royces, and then we went from there to the Ferraris. We got some shots with uh, the Lambos. I got a couple shots with uh, Richie and Chris in front of uh, the Lambos. There was a, uh, I think, a Murcielago and some other stuff, but you know, some, some great exotic cars. I tell you, those things started half a million dollars. I don't even know where people get the money to buy those things. But, you know what, if you can afford it, you're only going to be driving it in one time of the year, and that's the summer. You can't drive those things any other time of the year. But if you have, you can afford it, and you drive it for one time of the year in the summer, hey, all the power to you. But, um, we went from the Lambos to the classics stuff from like the 70s and like oh, I mean the 50s 60s 70s and pretty much you know 70s maybe it stopped at the early 80s but uh, we got some good shots of the stuff from the 50s you know the stuff with the big big fenders and the big fins and the massive like back seats and the front seats were pretty big too but uh, these things are just massive, like the steering wheels are about the size of a tennis racket. And, um, like, it, it was just, it was crazy. And then uh, the stuff from, the later stuff from the 70s, they're just really big. The big tires, the big block engines, the spoilers, you know, it, it was insane. And then I think I managed to get one shot of uh, a car from the early 80s it looked like something you would see out of Magnum PI or Knight Rider but you know it was still all in all we had a good time and then we went from the classics to the motorcycles and stuff like that like the Suzuki's the racing bikes the Harleys the you know the stuff you want to take for a ride in the country and you want to maintain that stuff it was really cool I got a few shots of my buddies on there and um it, it was just crazy it was massive um we got a shot in front of a bike display and then we you know we saw the police the police officer bikes and you know stuff like that but uh it was pretty cool all in all we had a great time and uh you know i can't say that i I'd trade this experience in, I wouldn't at all. I wouldn't trade it in because it was so, so great, and I just enjoyed it so much. But guys, um, until the next video, this is your boy, King Leo, signing off. Peace.